as a visual narrative that conveys a simple universal truth. Ladies and gentlemen, we have in the studio Moses Oyele. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me here this morning. It's great yeah. to be here. It's good to have you. Of course, uh, we understand that there were issues coming in, but sorted out, right? Thank you so much. All right. So in all really, of this now, you've... Um, I think we should really ask him, like, do you think that, like, that you look like a Yoruba man? Because he said you were asked a question that delayed you. Do you think you look like a Yoruba man? I get that all of the time. Mm. I mean, but all in all, and I'm, I'm an African. <laughs> yeah. We're all Africans and yes, we're Nigerians. We yeah. We're Nigeria, of course. Now, your artistic impact has extended beyond um, borders. In 2022, you had a remarkable feat of using a ballpoint pen mm -hmm. to um, draw your title, Amaka. Yeah. What, first of all, inspired you to go into visual art? Okay. Um, art has always been my lifelong passion. It is something that I consider woven into the fabric of my identity as a person. Um, so in honor of that passion, I went for that to pursue a degree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In visual arts visual from arts. the University of Lagos? Yes. Okay, well, it's good you went to the University of Lagos, but you would have gone to the University of Ibadan, it would have been better. Oh, why is that? Oh, we are the first and the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. All right, so what, what for visual arts, what... Um, what inspires your work? Okay. Inspiration comes from within and without. Like you draw from within, you draw from without. You know, it's applicable to every other form of art. And you hear of producers sampling other people's you know, production, sampling other people's material. So the same is applicable to visual art. You know, you are able to recall what you've, you know, you've stored up inside mm -hmm. and extract from what is around you to conceptualize an idea. So, and that is what you would see in my recent body of work, um, the use of the jigsaw puzzles, mm -hmm. like you said earlier. So the concept, uh, conceptualization of an idea starts with um, you being able to merge resources from within you and from without you, you know, based on what is happening and based on how you feel, you know, to convey a narrative and, I, and an idea. So that is, that is how I get about creating my pieces. Well, you just spoke about creating your pieces. Tell us the process. Mm -hmm. Do you maybe take a walk when you feel like you want to draw something? Or do you watch movies? you listen to music? I mean, like, I want to know that process. What, like, how do you get inspired? Okay. And who inspires you? Who is, do you like Leonardo da Vinci? Who are the artists? of today and yes I is that inspire you to do what you do. All right, thank you so much. You know, every, every, everything you've said so far is very much valid to how I go about you know, creating. I, I write songs as well, I sing. Mm. Perhaps I might sing for you guys before they leave here. <laughs> so I, I get to journal, you know, so I get to write, I get to journal things that I want to do and then I I get to take pictorial references for what I would want to create. Okay. And then I get to reference other people's work. So mm -hmm. just like movie productions too, artists get to you know, do their own researches. Yeah, so that's basically it for me. Mm -hmm. So generally, art materials are super expensive. I have yeah. a friend that is she, I think she was, she was even on Wake Up Nigeria Voodoo just um, some weeks ago. And she always heard that Omo, Art materials are super expensive. So, yeah. what do you use in like in, in I don't know. I don't. I, I don't want to say drawing. I'm trying to look for something dramatic to use. Mm. But you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. What do you use, and how do you also afford it? Because I know that the industry, the art industry in Nigeria, is not very um, developed. Yeah. Okay. So that's the interesting thing about using the ballpoint pen, the accessibility, the affordability, and the availability of. The ballpoint pen makes it easy for me to create. So you use mm. a biro to draw. So all of what the drawings that we saw in this video, it's biro uh, pen. pen. Apparently. Ooh, okay, okay. Mm. So, um, beside the ballpoint pen, I paint. Mm. I could use oil. I could use acrylic. I could use any other medium. But for the sake of you know affordability of all of these resources, you want to you know cut down cost and make do of what you have available to you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's it. Cut down cost, but does it affect the quality of the art? Oh, 
It doesn't necessarily affect the quality of the art. Um, the dexterity of what you do is what determines the value, actually. Not necessarily the sophistication deep. of, you know, your tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like you would see in my work, the, you know, it shows my shading prowess mm -hmm. and how much I'm, I've been able to master the tool. Mm -hmm. You know, not everybody could do this. I mean, you handled a pen this morning. She's having a pen in her hand. But can you do that? Look at, look at, <laughs> look at this, um, this, art, this artwork. Yeah. What inspired this? Is there somebody in your life? Or is that uh, the Amaka that disappointed you some years ago? Uh, no, no, no. Amaka is, this particular Amaka is a good girl. Ooh, uh, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, there is nothing more attached to me just knowing Amaka other than she was. She was my subject, mm -hmm. you know for this particular piece. And so I had to reference that particular picture to create the piece, okay. actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we see that um, we have someone who is having a, a, a painted ton. Yes, Fola David. Fola David. He's a great colleague, and I salute his courage for, for what he's doing at the moment. Mm. So he has surpassed over 300 hours. Do we see you doing such one day? Ah. <sighs> Not that Maybe I really... with the ballpoint <laughs> pen. Right. To be... yes. It would really be a great idea because I've actually thought about, hey, having the largest ballpoint pen drawing in the world. Mm, that would mm -hmm. be good. Yeah. Maybe I would consider it sometime, but it's not, it's, not on, it's not on my radar of thought at the moment. So what is on your radar of thought? What's next for you? Okay, so uh, my body of work, the recent body of work I'm working on which I hope to complete in a matter of weeks, is about the city people. Like, I've lived in this part of the world for most of my life. I'm talking about the city of Lagos, you know, with um, half of the population being youth. This particular body of work is centered around talking about the youth of Lagos. And it's basically my new approach to portraiture mm -hmm. with the use of the jigsaw puzzle and bringing in a stylized uh, way of rendering portraits. So um, part, of what, um, part of what you'll be seeing in this body of work is how I've been able to merge what we would regard as street art mm. that you would typically find on the downfall buses across the city of Lagos, the local taxis. Okay. <laughs> so what you, the caricatures you would find on those buses and then merging it with my you know, ballpoint pen art mm. to create stylized portraits. Okay. Yeah. I, can, I can imagine I can what's imagine. the outcome that will yeah. be. Yeah. But finally, before we go, because we're for want of time, what's the place of visual arts in today's world? Mm. So, from... Sorry, sorry, let me add to that question. This is okay. our last question. What does it need in Nigeria to grow? Because, I mean, like I said, movies and music are always being concentrated on drawing and sculpting. It's always, should I say, looked over. So, what do we need? And also his question. Okay, so... The, uh, one of the oldest definitions of art, or it's, it's a, it's a well-known definition I would like to think, that art is the, a medium of expression. And that definition is still valid to date. What this means is that, um, excuse me, what this means is that through art, in whatever forms, we are able to convey you know, ideas and narratives from the prehistoric art you know, to the painting at last core. It talks about how people are able to, you know, convey ideas, convey narratives that has to do with the culture of that particular period or the people or the traditions or the lifestyle. And that is still prevalent today. Basically, what we've been doing over time as humans is really innovating on what has been done in time past. And there's really nothing new under the sun, actually. So I made reference to people sampling other people's, you know, production to create something new. And I think uh, that is still, you know, prevalent to date. And it still happens within the visual art space. I think I'm... Did I answer your question? <laughs> well, yeah, to an extent. You okay. Guess, but... Okay. Hopefully, well, well, our, the that. industry is going to yes. grow way, way more. I mean, I see artists of, in other countries making as much as maybe like $500,000 on well, just well, one painting. Well, I'm, I'm sure he does that. So, yeah, it's looking really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's African attire. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank All you right. so much for coming on the program. Yeah. I just wanted to add that, I mean, the internet has, you know, afforded a lot of creatives, you know, the opportunity to get into the art scene, to get into the art space and uh, make themselves relevant within the community. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Moses Oyele, for coming. Thank of course, you. thank you so much. We'll have you again um, because of the peculiarity of the situ situation today. We didn't have a lot of time, but next time we'll, sure, we'll surely have more time. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thanks. Thank you so much. Well, and that's it on this segment this morning. Sports is up next. Stay tuned.